So before Christianity, trees were always seen to round off evil spirits. That's why people like them, because they, had, they kept their leaves all the year round. And especially in winter, people had a strong feeling that it would be protected. And it wasn't until the 16th century in Germany when trees were brought inside and began to be decorated. But it's even later when they became outside, like this one, um, to be decorated in, in cities and places of interest and like our hospice here. And it became a symbol of the gifts and the light of Christ that we have become accustomed to worship as part of this Christian tradition. So let us pray. Loving God, we stand before you once again to celebrate the birth of your Son. We ask you to be with us at this time to fill us with your peace. Let's listen now to a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. His own compassion saved us. But when the kindness and generous love of God, our Saviour appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Saviour, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. So, Lord God of the universe, we ask you to bless this tree, this sign of life and freshness and perseverance in our midst. Bless our family and friends as we celebrate this joyous season. Keep us safe in our travels. Keep us kind in our conversations and gracious in our giving and receiving. God our Father, 2,000 years ago, you brought your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to teach us the power of love and sacrifice. Bless this tree as a symbol of our love of God. We praise you for the light of creation, for the sun, the moon, the stars, for the praise of the light you have given us through looking at the scriptures. We praise you for Jesus Christ, your Son, who is Emmanuel, God with us, the Prince of Peace. And now we light our tree with the lights of Christ. And now we pray for God's blessing. May all who delight in this tree come to the knowledge and joy of our celebration of Jesus' birth and our gratitude for all he has done for us. May this tree bring to us great strength and hope in our times. As we place our gifts under the tree, we are reminded of the many gifts we have been given ourselves. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon us all and remain with us forevermore. Amen. And I wish you all a very, very happy and peaceful Christmas. Thank you. Very Christmas.